say this actually <laughs> This is a challenge for me and for 2023 I wanted to do something that really scares me and uh, talking to the camera and letting you guys in to know me more is a little bit scary but let's do this. So my name is Naima Osman, um, I live in Stockholm, Sweden and I have had an Instagram account where I put together my, uh, what you call, my styles and my outfit out there to inspire people like me <laughs> who look like me or uh, women in general from different background if they get inspired of how I style things so it's just a picture or sometimes I put together a video a styling video but now the reason that I'm starting this YouTube channel is also beside me challenging myself but also you guys to get to know me more I asked you guys on stories to send me questions on my Instagram stories and I got a few questions. Uh, most questions that came through were about my career and what I work with. I am a, I work with uh, marketing and e-commerce so I'm head of e-commerce and marketing and what I do is like I maintain the e-commerce, I design the whole site and uh, with my current work we were on WooCommerce and we changed to Shopify I did most of the like the, the the whole process of that. I could say that I am a Shopify expert. And before my work, prior to my work, I had uh, my own company, a consulting company that I started my um, with a friend of mine, where we helped women. Uh, in particular, we had clients as well who are men, but mostly I helped m women. Uh, who want to start a business but they don't know like overwhelmingly they don't know where to start like how to, to do their website or getting a domain the whole process we did also like I do also product development like for example if you have an idea and design of the product I put it together in a way like it, whether it's an illustrator and we look for suppliers so it was we helped so many so many it was so much fun it needed me to be out there to talk about it like make videos and what my company was about and it was a challenge for me because I always wanted to be behind the scenes I know when you see my Instagram it's not the case like taking photos but I'm actually camera shy so that's why I was like okay I can do this and last year I worked on my fears on being in front of the camera with my work we do a lot of live shopping and I I when they asked me to do the live shopping with them I accepted it as a way to to avoid uh, like to conquer my fears you know and uh, that's one of the reasons i have started also youtube yeah. channel <laughs> this the other question is like how long have you lived in sweden i have lived in sweden almost for 13 years if i'm not wrong because i came to sweden was i was 16 years old and i was all alone so it has been a very long journey and this if you're more interested in how I did it and how I came to Sweden. I can do a YouTube. I can do a video now. We can do videos about everything. So that's the whole idea. Um, what uh, to expect out of this uh, channel is mostly going to be about my lifestyle, like how I style, how I put together outfit. Actually, there's a YouTube, there's a video coming up about how I put together my staple pieces because lately. I had to change a lot in my wardrobe as I've gained weight and I'm getting older so things are different. Uh, so yes, that is uh, what you're going to expect as well as me traveling around and I'm going to let you in a little bit of my work. I'm actually going to travel and work in next month so I'm going to take you guys with me so you could see a bit part of my whole life. I have so much uh, responsibilities at work. We have, uh, even though I do e-commerce and marketing, but I also work with product development, product designing, uh, traveling for buying process as well. Um, so I will let you into that. Maybe it will inspire many people or some of you to start. The other question I got is like, what are your hobbies? How a day, what was it? Like, what does your ideal day off look like? I wrote some of the questions here and uh, this has changed a lot recently as sad as it sounds i work too much most of my days off also i work i'm home on my laptop and i work so many hours but i uh, i love to read 
and uh, to also listen to videos and listen to books that are audio books that are, is about personal development or about marketing as you know digital marketing is changes all the time you have to keep yourself updated so that's what i do and also i love going as you can tell i love doing shopping uh even if it's window shopping it makes my if i have a very bad day or stressful i go for walks and then go shopping that makes my day literally like just looking around in the stores makes me so happy especially when they have new items in and now spring is coming up so there will be a lot of new styles and new colors and it makes me look forward to summer and all and uh, the other question was where and how did you figure out your style um oh wow this is actually a trial and error uh, i tried so many styles so many things and i used before i never used to have a plan about how to buy things i just went and bought things you know but now i am more thoughtful about the type of pieces i want to invest in and it actually tomorrow's video hopefully it's tomorrow or the day after i'm gonna drop a video on how to create a wardrobe from scratch a stoiple pieces once you have that space of pieces to build your wardrobe it's so easy it saves you so much time it makes you look so chic all the time so uh please tune in to that video and i will explain everything about the whole th thought process of how and where i buy my things um but also i eliminate everything that i don't use uh, in my wardrobe i give each uh, item six months if i didn't use it more than six months i take it out like i give it away or sell it you know or take it to the charity so that more people have it but as i say you know i i live in a tiny apartment i need this space so i always rotate around and i look around okay what pieces um do i use what pieces i do not gonna use like all like what pieces i'm gonna use or not you in use anymore uh so watch the next video i promise you that it will help you a lot especially if you're interested in building your wardrobe from scratch or making it easy for you uh, styling yourself because i spend so much hours when i'm about to buy a new item because it's um for me that that time i spend on investing new pieces and creating that staple wardrobe it helps me a lot on my day to day so when i go to work i know which pieces every piece in my wardrobe i can be able to use so uh tune in for that and another question was like when are you gonna come to kenya i don't know if i started this in the introduction and i told you guys that i have a family in kenya because i am originally from somalia but my family live in kenya i do not have any family members living in sweden um so for me i travel to kenya very often once or twice a year that's one of the questions that many people are asking as well it's like oh when are you gonna go to kenya again i do have a lot of kenyans followers yes cheers to that um i am i have no plans at the moment for going to kenya so hopefully end of the year maybe but i don't know the other question i got is uh what is the most significant achievement <laughs> this is actually a little bit hard question for me because i always like i'm very bad in uh, how do you say uploading myself with the, my achievement and i always like uh, downplay every achievement that i have had but um I don't know if this is an achievement but as i said i came to sweden when i was 16 for myself to have the life i'm having at the moment i'm actually really proud of myself for it because i worked really hard and um, i had a lot of obstacles let alone the language being muslim girl being black being alone uh, not having somebody to guide you through the do's and to not, not do's of the uh, the swedish system that took me a very long time so having to achieve uh, two different careers and studying two different huge difference like being in e-commerce and studying medicine so that's that is an achievement on its own what is your favorite trait 
what is my favorite trait is uh oh my god i need to put this cup, cup of tea aside my favorite traits about me i would say is how persistent i am and how ambitious i am i love like whenever anyone tells me this is impossible to do i have this you know like inside the burning fire that i want to prove them wrong that nothing is impossible um many things have been so difficult to achieve i am a dreamer i have big dreams but at the same time i do believe if you work really hard and you pray hard you will achieve anything that you set your mind to you are the only person who's holding you like if you wanted to start an instagram uh, account just do it don't overthink it like for me now i don't have even a camera for this youtube channel i am scared that nobody is gonna watch this at all but i'm doing it so uh it's part of my personal development as well i'm gonna give myself like now i i put myself in a goal to get a thousand subscribers and see if i will be able to get it. so you who is watching right now help me get into that so you just do it do your fears you put them aside this little noises like oh what if people judge me or what if like this you shouldn't live your life for other people you should live this for yourself so my person my favorite personal trait i think is uh, being ambitious and being persistent and going after what i really want guys if you're here until now that means you can <laughs> that means you're interested or you're bored or whatever that is that you are there that means i'm not boring so please do subscribe and like and tune in to my next video that's where fun begins and the more people subscribe and the more people view these videos it will give me a boost of confidence and a boost of motivation to do more videos like uh, like the one i'm gonna do and also if you have enjoyed getting to know me i have a lot to share with you guys i have a lot of knowledge as well my whole process of coming to sweden how i achieved what i achieved because i am i am i am wonderful am i not I have to say that about myself anyway this is my outro please subscribe myself and <laughs> i mean subscribe myself please subscribe to my youtube channel <laughs> and yes bye -bye. Yes, like and subscribe my YouTube channel.